All right, so today we're going to be looking at, uh, you call it ray diagramming, ray tracing. Um, really, we're gonna be looking at the path of light uh, as it bounces off of either a convex mirror or a concave mirror. So not flat mirrors or anything like that. These are mirrors that are curved. Um, so then it's a matter of, is it kind of bowing out towards you or is it bowing away from you? Um, the cool thing about ray tracing is, doesn't matter what kind of mirror we're talking about, doesn't matter if we're talking about lenses even, um, we're gonna follow the exact same rules. Um, there's just some very, very small details that are gonna be different uh, about them. Um, so for instance, uh, so we're gonna start talking about that convex lens there. Um, and I have the rules down here at the bottom. So uh, at this point, I've kind of indicated uh, which ray we're talking about. So when we do ray tracing, we're always talking about three different rays that we're gonna draw in. The parallel ray, the focal point ray, or in the, and the center of curvature ray. And these things are gonna have very, very specific directions that they're gonna follow before they hit the mirror lens. And then their specific directions are gonna go afterwards. Uh, and let's just start with this, all right. So starting off with the parallel ray, <clears throat> this is where you know physicists are not very creative with their naming, which is good because it keeps it easy. So the parallel ray is going to start. So the objects that I have here, a um, couple of points. So with a convex lens, we have the object on one side and the mirror kind of bends towards it, okay? So my objects, when I draw them in, I don't get fancy or complicated or anything like that. You can do like the silhouette of like a pine tree. Um, I just kind of go with the basic kind of a pencil shape there. Uh, you, you can go stick figure, but just keep it easy. Like we're not trying to do any type of like artistic representation of a reflection here or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so if the, it's curved towards us, you can kind of think of it, you know, if you if you took this convex mirror, <clears throat> cut it in half, did a cross section of it, really what you're seeing is you're seeing part of a circle. It's like somebody used a compass to kind of inscribe this arc right here. And, you know, theoretically where we, we would have put the that needle, the middle point of that compass, that's the center of curvature. Uh, and we represent this on the diagram with the capital letter C. This line right here is what I'm calling the axis. Uh, it just kind of runs through the, the middle of that curvature, uh, <clears throat> if it doesn't jump away from me. Uh, and then one of the cool things is in between the mirror of the lens and that center of curvature, like halfway between it, that's gonna be our focal point. And I'm gonna list that as F. That's the, those are the two important points we're kind of considering. Um, one of the other things I do with my ray diagram tracing is on the other side, um, I try to approximate, you know, how far away the F is. I try to do that on the other side as well. Like we could call this like F prime and C prime, something like that. Uh, you're not going to see that in like a textbook necessarily. Um, but I think kind of just marking those points can be kind of useful. Uh, and if you notice for the concave mirror, um, since it's curved towards us, the center of curvature and the focal point are on the same side as the object, whatever it is you draw in there. Um, but I, once again, on the other side, I do mark approximately where those points are. All right, so the first ray we're gonna draw here is the parallel ray. And so I'm just going to draw all of my rays as originating from this point, the top of the, the pencil right there. So the parallel ray starts being parallel to the axis. So starting off with, it's just going to be parallel to this axis here. I'm gonna to try to do this without a ruler. So let's see how well that goes. Um, yeah, it's a little messy, but that's all right. Um, typically though, like that's good enough. Like that tends to be mostly parallel with this right here, all right? So I did the first part. Now the second part, uh, this ray, so if it's a mirror, we know that that light ray is going to bounce off you know, kind of on, on the object side of the mirror. Uh, and it's going to kind of create a line that goes through F. So essentially we kind of approximate that there's a line going right here. And in fact, uh, what I'm going to do on this side, so we know the light rays bouncing that way, I'm just gonna draw a dotted line that goes from, that was kind of bad, um, <clears throat> that goes where that light ray, where it met the mirror, 
I'm going to draw a dotted line on this side, uh, and that's going to be, I'll explain that part later on. Just know, do a dotted line on this side, and then that light ray is actually going to bounce off in that direction. I'm just going to arrow this to indicate what direction it's going. All right, so that covered both parts of that parallel ray. So now I'm going to go change my brush size. Good enough. Now I'm going to do the second ray, the focal point ray. So starting off with the focal point ray, is that line wants to go through F. So starting off with, it's a line that wants to go through F here. So starting off with, I'm going to try to approximate this. Let's see if I go about right there. And good enough. All right. So that solid line then wants to go to the mirror kind of trying to get in line with F. Uh, if you give me one second, I will get rid of that little smudge there. All right. Um, and then, so that ticks care of it, tried to go through F, but then once it met the mirror, that ray is going to go parallel to the axis. So this mirror is going to bounce this image, this light ray, parallel to the axis. Ooh, it got kind of messy there at the end. All right, so let's try this again. Parallel, parallel, parallel. I uh, angled it up a bit, but we're going to be okay. So it's going to go that way on this side of the mirror, because remember, mirrors bounce off light rays. But then on the other side, I'm going to draw a dotted line in parallel to that axis. Um, and right away, we can see on the object side of the mirror, that pink line, the pink ray, and the teal ray, the, the parallel ray, and the focal point ray, they don't cross anywhere. Uh, but they are crossing over here on this side. Uh, just kind of tell you why the data line part's kind of important. So now I'm going to go do that third ray, the center of curvature ray. So this line wants to kind of approximate going through the center point C. So let's see how bad this looks. So through C, get my data line going there. And keep in mind, this is way easier to do. Wow, that looks horrible. Um, this is way easier to do on paper using rulers, stuff like that. Um, and then, so really what happens here is as it goes through 2C there, this should be hitting the lens at a right angle, so it's actually going to bounce back in that same direction. Um, but then we have the dotted lines over on this side. Uh, really what the, the dotted lines show is kind of... Um, what type of image is it going to form? So in this case, the, the actual light rays are bouncing off of the mirror, not converging. These things aren't going to form an image on their own. The, the How do I want to wear this? The reflected rays don't match back up. So instead, what we're going to see is we're going to see an image form on this side of the mirror. We're just going to essentially draw kind of an approximation of our original shape that starts where those three lines meet. Okay, I kind of, you know, fudged it there a little bit. And then it goes down to the axis. So right away we can see that the image is, it's upright, you know, it's it's above the axis just like our object is, but it is smaller. Uh, and that's going to be important when we start doing some calculations with this, things like, is it a real or an, or an imagined, uh, a virtual image? So in this case, since the actual light rays didn't connect, this would be called with a virtual image. Um, and then we could also see that the magnification, it got smaller, and our magnification is going to be less than one. Um, but once again, we're going to talk about that later on. So if I'm going to look at a concave mirror, once again, uh, the object here is just in between kind of the, the center point and the focal point. Um, we can go through and draw the same three uh, rays in. So the parallel ray is going to start off parallel. And then it's going to want to go through F here. So in this case, going through F means something like that. And then on this side of the mirror, dash line. The second ray we're going to do is we're going to go through the focal point F. Sometimes you kind of have to like extend the mirror out a little bit. And then it's going to go parallel to the axis. So kind of parallel. I went up again. Um, but then on this side of the mirror, dash line. And that last ray is going to start 
trying to aim for C, which in this case C is actually behind it. So let's go ahead and just throw one off that way. And this one's going to go off until it hits the mirror and then it's going to come back. Um, so this one kind of ugly, um, doesn't make a ton of sense. We can already see that the dash lines aren't going to match up at all. If I had to guess, I would say this line I should have drawn farther that way. Um, but we can kind of see that the image is going to form back behind it. It's probably going to be a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, so the ray tracing rules, doesn't matter what kind of mirror you're working with, the big thing that you're going to see changes with is where you put this object. If you put it outside the center of curvature, between the center point, the focal point, or inside the focal point, you also see some interesting things happen when the image is at the center point or at the focal point, um, which that's really what your, your practice ray diagram is going to all be about. Um, sorry for how messy that last one was. Um, but good luck. Um, ray tracing with mirrors really is just, you're just going to follow those rules in the table down there and it should go pretty easy.